Hey. Hey, how are you? Come on in. Back up, girl. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, kitty. This is Toffee. Say hey, say meow. Welcome to my humble abode. It's nice, comfortable. Thanks. Yeah, very cozy, you know. You know, I like to be cozy at all times. Cozy girl status. As you can see. Hey. <laughs> What's your go-to breakfast? Um, my go-to is an omelet. Always, I do like an egg white omelet. I'll add like mushrooms. Um, most times I add spinach, but I have kale right now. So that's what we're doing. And my fave of all time is sun-dried tomatoes. I will put this shit in anything. I'm always trying to push boundaries, but also push myself. Um, so when it comes to making music, that's kind of how I approach it, how I attack it. I almost um, look at all of my my music and my, my albums or EPs or mixtapes, whatever you want to call them, as like school projects in a way. So they all like have a rubric <laughs> for me in my head um, that I kind of like to follow, which is why a lot of times I do like thematic projects or um, just really heavily like, you know, themed projects. Um, Cause it just makes the whole thing more fun for me. Yeah, girl, you hungry too? When you get up in the morning, what's the first thing you do? Do you grab your phone? Who do you text? I'm always checking Twitter, Instagram, see what's the new tea, what done happened in the night while I was asleep. It's usually nothing, but <laughs> yeah, I like to stay up on current events. Are you in any group chats, group threads with friends and family? Um, the the most group chats that I'm in are with like my manager and uh, people we're working with. I have a project coming out very soon, so we've just been in group chats about the project. Basically, I don't really um have that many other group chats. Like I'm not in I don't know fantasy football group chats and stuff. I don't know what these what these kids do these days. <laughs> Talk about the grind. Talk about the amount of work it takes to get into the position you are and maintain the position you're in now. Man, it's not it's not easy. I'll tell you that. Um, but it's always I'll say it's always like gratifying to know that like, oh wow, I actually had to put in this work or like um, you know, seeing the fruits of your labor kind of follow through. Oh my gosh, sorry, hold on. I have to put this omelet in. This is always the worst part. Ah! Boom. Bow, bow. Talk about that relationship with Issa Rae and how did that come about? How surprised are you? It's like extremely inspiring and it makes me just look at my own life in, in, a, in a similar way um, and look at her like, wow, this is an example of something that I can do for other people um, because it's not just She's not just an actress, you know? She's an actress, she's a businesswoman, she's a, a CEO, like, she's doing a lot of different things. And as a black woman, um, especially a brown-skinned black woman, it's extremely inspiring and heartwarming and just like, I love to see her doing that and I love to even be a part of what her legacy is, you know, now with radio. I feel extremely honored and blessed, honestly. Do you have any favorite TV shows? What are your favorite shows? Um, my favorite shows, shoot. Right now, I'm binging one on one. That used to be like one of my favorite shows growing up as a kid. I would watch it like all the time after school. Um, what else? I don't really watch TV that much. Um, I love Insecure. Girl, what? Love Island. I really like that show, except for um, the apparent racism. <laughs> There's like never more than one black girl on the show. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about representation in media today? It sucks. It's getting better though. It is getting better, um, which I love, but I feel like it's so sad that it's taken this long. Toffee, what's going on? She just be screaming. Um, it's definitely taking a while, but I think that people are starting to to realize and understand that the people are sick and tired. Okay, 
we're tired of being underrepresented. We're tired of being misrepresented. Um, you know, a lot of times when we see black people uh, represented on, on television shows that were made not by black people, it's like the wrong representation of us. Your music is fun and trappy, but there's still mixes of female empowerment. How do you mix that into your writing and, and some of the song decisions you make? Um, I think that self-confidence is extremely important. Um, so I like to write my music from that point of view uh, because it not only helps whoever's listening, but it helps me, you know? Like when I'm writing these things, uh, whether it be about myself or be about an idea of a person, um, I like to instill self-confidence into people and into myself because I think that once you start to love yourself and um, appreciate yourself and big up yourself, everything around you changes, but it, it starts within, you know? So for me, um, that's like my duty here basically is to be self-confident so that other people can see that through me and do it as well. My room! It's so cute in here, or at least I think so. How much time do you spend in here? How important is your bedroom to you? Oh, a lot. I spend pretty much all of my time in here or in my studio. Um, I'm like rarely in the living room besides when I eat breakfast. Um, in the kitchen a bit, but this is my spot right here. Um, yeah, I just love it. Super cute, like me. <laughs> Should we talk about this player bed you got right here? Let's... Yeah, you know, you know, it's giving the girls a little futuristic vibe. Um, is you that know, you red gotta leather? have. It is, it is red leather, you know, red leather, yellow leather. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's an acting joke. Um, but yeah, you know, you gotta have the little silk sheets, you know what I'm saying, so your hair can stay nice. I got the silk pillowcases, all types of colors, you know what I'm saying? You know, real player shit. You know how a player do. She loves to come in here, even though she knows she's not supposed to. Who would you say your style is? Um, shoot. I would say it's like cute, girly, but unique. Um, bold. Uh, like, I like cheetah prints and stuff like that. Um, super bold. I love pink. Pink is like my favorite color, as you may be able to tell from my shoes. Like, why do I own this many pink pairs of shoes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These count to 11. I'm sure there's more pink shoes somewhere in here. Pink's my favorite color. Um, so when I say like girly, cute, like it's pretty self-explanatory here. But yeah. Um, give, I us love this best, give us your best date night outfit. Mm, date night, we're definitely gonna slip on a, a nice little dress. Um, I like to do this one sometimes. It's very tight fitted, but it's still giving the girls color. Um, this little, this is a little scandalous, as you can see. It's got a lot of, a lot of looksies through there. Looksies. A lot of looksies. Look looksies. <laughs> Pretty basic setup right now because as I said, this is not the final destination. So I didn't want to put all the bells and whistles in here. But you know, simple little mat book, bow, 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 speakers. Ooh, ooh. I also paint in here, I'm repainting a few paintings right now. Um, gotta get some new paints because running low. <laughs> so you're an all around artist. You make music, yeah. you paint. I paint, I do a little sewing sometimes. Um, I gotta get back into that, but like, yeah, I just love to express myself um, pretty much in any way. I see that Grammy nomination in the back. Let's talk about that. Woo -woo! Where were you and what was that like? Oh man, uh, where was I when, when we found that out? I don't even remember where I was. I, Cause really like 2020 has been just the biggest blur of life. Um, so everything before that is like, did that even happen? <laughs> but I remember just being like so excited because number one, I didn't even think I was gonna make it on the project um, because at the sessions, there were just so many artists, so many songs were made. I think like maybe a hundred 
at least like 126 songs were made uh, within that time. So as a person who this was my first songwriting thing, this was like one of my first um, sessions like this, I was like, well, child, I don't even know if I'm going to make it on the project. And then Boss told me that not only did my verse stay on the song, but the song is staying on the project. Then they said that the project was number one on Billboard when it came out. And then it got nominated for a Grammy. And I'm just like, you're kidding me. Like, what, what? So you're like a popping musician. What was the last job you had before you started the music full time? Mm. The last job I had, I was working at this place on Edgewood called Hungry Ghost, and I hated it um, for multiple reasons, but people have started to recognize me, which was half cool and half like, oh my gosh, anxiety. Um, and then my manager was just like being super lame about a lot of things. So um, this one time he brought me my last check, which was late, and I took it and I said, I gotta go. And I don't think I'm coming back. And I just left. Um, yeah, so speaking of that, um, that leads me to my next point. I actually do have to go oh, uh, okay. and, and do something. Um, so it's been fun, right. and I'll leave you with this. I have to say it's been a really good day, but now I got to say the opposite of hey. And that's goodbye. Bye. See you later. So, if I have like two more no, questions. No, 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 no. no, no. no. Okay. Goodbye. Right. Okay. See you later. Right. Have Bye. a good one. All right. <laughs>